like waiting to go in. So I brought my big tape picket and I brought a small one for Jordan. It's a Nam June. We love our Nam June. She stands Nam June. I do have my it's only, it's only because you were like, ah, oh, that's who, that's who you are, personality wise. Yes, personality wise. And, and anytime wise, she's someone's Nam like, June. this is who your personality wise, I'm like, cool, I automatically love them. So, Nam June. Yes. And then she loves Koya too, so it works. I freaking love Koya, Koya so much. Is a child. I wish I had a flash of Koya, but I just have. My little mouse pad, which I can't use yet because I don't have any. I'll mouse. get you a keychain for Christmas. I'll get you one of the keychains for Christmas. I, I want that, like, I want someone to get me the giant plush. Right? Ask your boy. Ask boy. I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not gonna let the boy spend that much money on me. <laughs> one day you'll get him. Just get the small one. There's two small yeah. designs now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. The small yeah. ones no, are fine. Like, I'm like a $20 one would be fine. I'm just like, yeah, I want to be able to cuddle with Koya. Because I too am smart, but like to sleep a lot. Yeah. And then I brought the. This is an official Halloween Tata, so I brought him. He's real. And I have lots of fun stuff in here. I have two army bombs. I got the army bomb ring. It's, it's going to be crazy. I haven't gotten my army bomb And yet. then here's my unofficial Tay Young bag. This is my design of him from the bit emoji from Snapchat. Snapchat. And then I got this bag made at BitCon. BitCon. We like ran down to the Snapchat booth. Like when we downstairs. figured out where it was, we like sprinted down there during our break. Well, because um, we were like locked away in the Instagram lounge <laughs> during. Uh, so we were both brand now. ambassadors yeah. at VidCon, and we were working for uh, Facebook slash Instagram, the same company. So we were kind of stuck in the VIP room, and we couldn't really leave. I, except I for literally, and stuff. I literally took one break a day. But that. I was team lead. So. Yeah, she was a team lead, so it was a little bit harder. But <laughs> it was a chaotic, chaotic Anytime I had a break, convention. I ran around like a mad woman trying to get all the stuff. We got we free could Nerf get. guns. It was we great. got free Nerf guns, and that was really nice. So I appreciate the love for that. But, but you're so lucky that we have enough stuff to represent. Honestly, I think VidCon was the introduction to BTS. For yes, me. VidCon that's was the introduction for BTS for her because got me into it. Um, my friends Brian and Ellen, who are dancers, they kept coming up on the screen doing BTS dances. Well, and I. If, you guys probably don't know me that much, but I was in the um, video that we did, the, the eyes. Like the, yeah, so the we video. were part of Egoism, so we have our own group now, but we used to be part of that, so that's probably where that you was, could have seen Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing I've been that. in, but like, from there, like, we've always liked doing dance covers and stuff, like, for me, J-pop dance covers. Yeah, she's more on the J-pop side, I'm more on the K-pop side, but the good thing is, K-pop artists like to do stuff in Japanese and probably Japanese artists probably do stuff in Korean or Chinese it's probably or it's probably gonna be way more common nowadays um, it's more common Japanese but I know um, I'm not group, on the up and up with current idols yeah it's like the group EXO has a Chinese group and they have a Korean group yeah they have a Taiwanese group uh, for AKB I know that so much. like it's JKT. not oh really that's yeah. cute JKT is so it's not cool. uncommon seeing like idols singing like multiple languages so yeah we're excited so we'll be debuting in like probably end of December, early January, just to get our name out there and start. Mm -hmm. So we're excited for that. Just need to make some time to uh, learn the dances yep. around all of the projects we have going on right now because it's absolutely it's insane hard. at the moment. So we'll, we'll get there. I'm, I'm excited for that. Yeah. We got this, guys. We're we really, this. really excited to share this with you. And I hope everyone will be excited for this. And hopefully sometime in March... We'll be going to Korea to try and audition to become trainees, or at least first we'll be showing off back everything there. Everything. So we'll be showing everything while we're there. So we're gonna go in soon. So I will see you guys afterwards. I won't spoil anything, but I'll tell you a couple hints if I hear anything. So yeah, let's get those Bye guys. guys. Bye. So uh, we just finished seeing Burn the Stage, the movie. And we decided just to come and get some boba and talk to you guys. We craved the sugar. <laughs> we need sugar after that. It was a lot of emotions left my body throughout that entire film. We're not gonna really spoil it for the most part, but how did you like it? I love it. It's her first time seeing anything burn the stage related. I loved it so much, like I actually I actually had to keep myself from crying. So I didn't ruin my makeup for the video that we filmed afterwards. <laughs> but like being someone who like is just being introduced to BTS and doesn't really know much about them, like I know memes. Yeah, I know memes. Um, because she and she shows me videos, but like 
I really don't know much about them, like, personality-wise. I don't even know all their names yet. Like, I kind of know them in my head, but I, I still, like, have issues, like, placing the names to person. But just, like, getting to see the raw side of that tour was amazing. Just, like, as a performer. And it was last week. Well, last year's tour as well. So it wasn't yeah. as big as this current Love Yourself tour. It was, like, insane how big it was last year, too. Like, yeah, it was oh still pretty big. It was the first, I think, dome experience in Tokyo. I think so, so yeah. I think it was the first time for that. Yeah, it was just, like... At being a performer, like, and, and seeing what they go through. It's, it's not like you're watching yeah. the actual concert. You're watching the behind the scenes and the preparation and all that. The hardships they go through, yeah. like, the fact that all the they, injuries. They, yeah, they have, those. like, their ups and their downs. And, like, it's amazing, like, all of our fans and stuff. And they really, really push themselves, like, to amazing lengths just to, like, They push themselves happy. very hard for wings. Like, oh my that's God, why yeah. we were all praying, at least for Love Yourself, for them to get more rest. Like, I'm even happy that now, even though their Japanese leg, they have, like, a week before the performances to, like, have a break. They need it, like, they Especially because in Japan, so it's a thousand times more intense they than... so space. much for Army, and, and being able to see that in the movie was, like, great, and, like, I already respected them as artists, but, like... Even seeing them like, oh, but they're on tour and they're like writing music while they're on tour. Yeah, they were writing. Insane. Like, Hope was yourself. writing yeah. uh, his first mixtape, Hope World. They were also writing songs for Love Yourself, Answer. So they were like writing while, like, yeah. or Love so, Yourself too. Just, those boys are amazing. <laughs> like, I would definitely see that movie again. I'm probably going to go watch the YouTube series now that like I've seen the movie. And see a little bit more, like, into certain sides. Yeah, of coming movies. from the YouTube series, because I've seen the YouTube series previously, and there's a lot of stuff that is different in the first stage of the movie. There's a lot more content that was not in the actual series, because the series... You said most of it, like, was pretty new. Most of it was pretty new, because the series pretty much went, like, every single day of the tour. Like, what they were pretty much doing, like, the state or the, like country they were in at the time and it was more in depth for the most part the thing that really got me in the movie was like the, the narrative dialogue that was going on throughout it yeah and they really do like and i think it was nam june speaking honestly i think it was i think it was nam june speaking I, I couldn't really read the credits that well because it was so tiny and it was pretty much all but the grand, way but the way it was being presented it was a lot much better. it was like poetry um, it was like in the tour DVD, so they have the yeah. different sections. They kind of had the same thing. They had different sections explaining different things. Yeah, so I thought that was really nice because it's just like, obviously, they grew a lot from that experience, and like, they're really trying to make it so that everyone can understand that, and which I think they can be very well. And also, the new interviews that they had at the very end were really good as well because we've never seen that. And it was, I think, after the tour was completely done that they re interviewed as well. So that was really nice seeing them looking back on it. They also included a lot of stuff for the awards that they won, so the yeah. awards and the AMA performance. They even showed a couple things from the other performances, like David Kimmel, they showed for a hot second. They showed uh, the Rock in New Year for a hot second. That was really nice. I also liked that. There was one particular moment. No spoilers, but it just shows like how much their crew cares for them as well. Yeah. Um, because you know, they're, over the years, you've heard so much about scandals happening within like yeah, the companies. companies. Yeah. Um, I and being or say I, I, I they only have BTS. That's their only group. Yeah. And they, they have like I a couple other artists. Japanese artists more so, and so like the scandals within like those artists, like those people aren't necessarily treated the best, and seeing like the care that Big Hit puts in to like making sure that BTS takes care of themselves, that like they're okay, it makes me want to support them more because like obviously they it's are It's a company we want to support yeah. as well. Even for uh, the Love Yourself tour, like I camped out for all those days, so I was there every single concert tour day just camping. And every time they would leave and I would see Big Hit staff leave, I would say, come send me out, Big Hit, Big Hit staff, thank you so much. They would all turn around and smile and be so happy that someone else is thinking of them instead of screaming for the boys. So, yeah. Like, we need to support the actual staff of Big Hit as well. Be, being a theater kid, you know, like, you need to support there, there's always group. that, like, like, concept of, of, like, oh, actors versus, like, the techies, but, like, techies are the ones that make it happen, and Big Hit is the one that makes it happen. Like, these boys are amazing and inspirational, but, like, it really is a team effort, and you can see that everyone loves the videos. So, honestly, even if you're not even a fan of BTS, I would still encourage you to see this if you want to know more about them, because it shows 
more than just like an actual concert tour. It's a, it, it is like a phenomenon. Uh, it's like a, honestly like a documentary. That's what I thought when I saw the actual YouTube Red series. It's like a documentary of like their life. Mm -hmm. You see them sometimes in the hotels. You see them like go out sometimes. Like you see them like interact with like each other, every, each other everybody like, around them. Yeah. So. Yeah, overall, good experience. Um, and I'm happy that no yeah. one fan chanted inside. Oh my gosh, that was so I was like, everyone was super respectful. Everybody was very respectful. Like, nobody had their, like, six on. Like, nobody there was, was fan There was a lot of people missing. There was a lot of people that didn't show up. Like, yeah. Our theater was not full. And we went to theater. City Walk, so that was a sold out theater for that yeah. time. But I think once uh, they started releasing more times and dates, a lot of people probably got refunds on their tickets so that they could go to the end of the day. <laughs> but I would have I wanted to go on the premiere day just because that holds so much more. It was it was totally worth it. Everyone there like everyone was really like, respectful. Oh you could hear the people crying. Like people the, were like the crying, they were cheering, they were like We were all like reacting in real time and it was like it was very nice. It didn't feel like I was in a theater with strangers, it felt like I was in a theater with my friends. Like everybody yeah. in there was a friend. Yeah. So it wasn't sure. awkward at all. Yeah. I hope they do more things like this, like more YouTube series, honestly, more. They even showed um, some of the old Bangtan bombs as well. Mm -hmm. They showed when they won their first day song, like they showed that as well. And they showed that to Japan. But then for this one, they actually blew it up and let us all see like those old videos and old Namjoon hair, which is, <laughs> that's a, that's a that demon. hair. That's a demon. That hair. But I was very happy with how they decided to do this for like a picture like film. Yeah. And like we deserve to have more because it's just like, it allows them to expand their reach even more. And especially with what's going on with, right now with all like the things going on around BTS. I'm happy that at least we can all come together as ARMY and enjoy something together and try and get all the negativity out and try and boost up something like this. So much, guys, for like producing yeah. this for us because, like, so much. I'm just trying to let us in your lives. Like this. Say, like, you've got a new fan in me, and like, this is just make people cool. grow more as fans. And now we just gotta wait for the DVD release. We'll wait for that. We'll be, we'll be binge watching that a lot. Yes. <laughs> so, thank you guys for joining us on this vlog. Um, we will have more content coming out very, very soon. We are super excited to share these projects with you. This um, will go on our new YouTube, so it'll go on our new channel. Want to put this one on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be there. We'll post like little snippets of behind the scenes, like our own personal pages, but this will go on our new page. So this will be a nice way to kind of get to know us. And honestly, BTS is the reason why I decided that I want to try and pursue an idol or at least a backup dancer or stylist or anything having to do with like supporting like Korean artists or even like Japanese artists. And say I I started out as a fan of AKB48 like a long time ago. I've always wanted to be the performer. I, I almost auditioned to be an AKB idol at one point. Um, I missed it by a day. I missed it by a day, unfortunately. But. Um, it's just like it, it's so cool to like have a friend that um, Wants we both to do this. yeah we both can like have such passion for it that like we finally decided like hey just the two of us need to do this we need to stop like and it's like I want to write my own music I want to do my own clothes I want to do everything that has we're, to come we're through. going all in on this and uh, it's we dream. hope you all support us yeah, please support seriously. us like you support BTS and any other like group out there. So thank you so much. Come see you soon. Thank you.